the essential training series for texture baking. Texture baking is basically creating texture maps for your objects. Those maps contain material information, light and shadow information, alpha or transparency information. In fact, any information that is calculated with the rendering is stored inside those maps. Let's take a look at our scene here. It has materials with texture maps assigned to it. As you can see in the 3D area, the look doesn't resemble a rendered 3D image. But if we clicked on Show Baked Scene to show the baking I previously did for this scene, you can see the difference in both cases. The baked scene has all the rendered attributes built in it as textures, which would allow us to navigate the scene and view it from any angle without having to render an animation. If we take a look at the ground baked texture, you can obviously see the light rays hitting the ground as well as the shadows within the image. Let's go ahead and click on Clean to remove our previously baked textures. I'm going to click the ground and click on Smart Bake. A window will pop up with the Smart Baking settings. In the Texture Size part, we can set the minimum and the maximum resolution for the baked texture. The minimum resolution will be automatically assigned to small objects, while the maximum resolution will be assigned to big objects in case you are baking several objects at the same time. The Samples per Pixel option controls the quality for your baking. It is very similar to the app controller used in the composer's rendering. The Dynamic Update controls at which rate should the baking results during the process appear. So if we set it to 100, it means that every 100 sample per pixel, the 3D area will update the baked texture and keep doing so until it reaches the value of SPP you assign to it. The Geometry Processing is an advanced calculation tool that resolves some stretching issues with the texture. In most cases, the Fast option would not cause any stretching. But on very rare cases, the geometry's complexity may produce some stretching, in which case we use the Top Quality option. Let's leave the last option for now and proceed by clicking OK. As you can see, you can still navigate the scene while it's baking. and we got a result with the ground having all the rendered information on it. Let's try baking the vase. We lower the SPP and the resolution, because I don't think it would need more than those values to appear well. As you can see, it baked only the part we selected, because baking deals with each object individually. Let's pick the whole group for this vase, and click on Smart Bake. We set the minimum value to 256, and keep the maximum at 512 because I think that there are some small geometries within the vase that don't require a 512 pixel map. Click OK and notice how the geometries in the vase having their texture update one by one.
Let's take a look at another case we have in our scene. What we have here are two cushions. They have separate geometries, but they share the same material. If we bake those cushions, this will result in two separate baked textures, which means doubling the time of baking and the texture file size. A good way to avoid that is to merge objects on material. Now we have one object with one material, which, if we baked, will produce one baked texture. We click on Smart Bake while the cushion's geometry is selected to bake it. This resulted in one baked map for both geometries. We can apply this method for the whole scene. We pick the main group in the scene and from the baking panel, we click on Merge on Material. This will combine all geometries sharing the same material into one geometry. Next video, Advanced Baking.